Your phone has been ringing since and you don't want to pick up. Mom, please, just throw the damn phone away. Language, young lady. Sorry, mom. Are you okay? You look sad. I think something is wrong with me. How do you mean? Never mind. I just want to be left alone. Talk to me, Natasha. I am your mother. Why am I so unlucky when it comes to me finding a good man? My daughter, there is nothing wrong with you. There are no good men anymore. So you mean I will never find a good man? I didn't say so. If you are waiting for a perfect man, you will never find him. I don't need a good man. All I want is a partner that would love me unconditionally. Who breaks your heart this time around? This particular heartbreak is very painful. Natasha, I would advise you forget about a man for now. Try and build yourself first. And trust me, men will come running after you. I have built myself already. What more do I have to build? Focus on your life. Stop chasing men. If not, you will end up being used again. Is that all you have to tell me? You can't even console me. I have to tell you the truth first before consoling you. I guess you have never been heartbroken before. Else you would know how it feels like. You would never survive half of what I went through to have you. Does this have to do about dad? I need some rest now. We will talk later. Chris, my guy. Edwin, I'm not in the mood for this. It's okay, bro. I totally understand how you feel. No, you don't. I wish I didn't involve myself with Natasha. I would still be with Isabel. But you knew you didn't want to end up with Natasha. You should have let her go. I just wanted to have fun. Now look at where your phone has landed you. You have lost the woman you love. What do I have to do to get her back? I am not sure you would be able to get her back. Just be grateful she didn't disgrace you at your wedding. I don't even want to imagine that kind of a thing. Are you not going to chase me out of your house? No, I won't. At least for the fact that you stopped Isabel from going ahead with the plan. All I can say to you now is never to play with someone's feelings. I wish I could just get one person back. I don't mind if it is Natasha. In your dreams, you better forget about those girls. This should be a lesson to you. So now I have to start afresh to look for a girl like Isabel. You don't have a choice now. I haven't been able to eat anything since the day Isabel left me. Other boy in the mud. This is not funny. You are not hungry. When you are hungry, no one will tell you to go and eat. You will do that yourself. When I leave my house, you are of no use to me. I know you are not saying it with your full chest. Oh, doctor, we have been waiting for you for so long. Sorry about that. I was trying to get some things ready. Okay, that's good. So, is everything set now? Should we leave the room? There will be no need for that. There's a little problem. Problem? What could that be? Mr. Cletus, I guess you would have to buy a bag of blood for your daughter. No, doctor. You can't buy a bag of blood for her when parents are available. Have you forgotten you don't have matching blood with your daughter? I thought you just took out some of my own blood. Which blood do we have to buy again? I am confused as to why none of you share the same blood with your daughter. Why? Do I have some kind of sickness or what? No, not at all. We are listening. Well, we took out the blood from you, Mr. Cletus, and we started working on it. Then we found out that your blood does not match with your daughter's. What? How can that be? Doctor, what does that mean? I am a father of this child, so my blood should match with hers. Well, Mr. Cletus, sadly, your blood does not match with hers, so you have to buy a bag of blood for her. I beg to take my leave. What just happened? That doctor must be mistaken. How come our blood does not match with hers? Are you asking me that question? Who else will I ask? Buy the blood for her and then meet me at home. Oh God in heaven, I know for a fact that there is nothing impossible for you to do. Gloria has been in hospital for three days fighting for her life. Please fight for her. Don't let her to be my past memory. Let whatever medicine is given to her work fast. If not for anything, at least for the love I have for her. This is really hard for me. Staying for three days without hearing her voice. No matter what it takes, please help her. I can't bear the pain of seeing her there. She's the first woman I've ever felt like this for. And I don't want to ever lose her. It would be better if I need my blood for her. The press is taking too long. I can't wait any longer. Even if it means donating one of my kidney for her, I will do it.
Madam Shakara. Ah, Natasha, you came to my house today. Are you surprised? Before Uncle, when was the last time you came here? Does it matter? I understand, Shara. All what you ever thought of was Mr. Loverboy. <laughs> You're so funny. Mr. Loverboy that plays the both of us. He played only you because I knew what I was doing. So I was the stupid one, Abby? Obviously now. You just purposely decide not to use your head when you love. Let me draw. Fair is a crime to love and trust at the same time. It is not a crime, my darling. You can love and trust, but don't trust too much. Yes, mommy. I missed you so much. I missed you too, my dear friend. Someone from nowhere separated us just for nothing. And you let it happen, because I can remember coming to your house to beg you to forget that guy. You didn't give me a good reason now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Now, not even a man can come between us again. Our friendship is sealed, sis. No betrayals. Yes, no betrayal. Go bring a bottle of champagne, let's celebrate. I don't have champagne in this house, it's only juice I have. Oh yeah, go and bring it now, let's celebrate. Yes, ma. Did you buy the blood? Yes, honey. Everything has been sex. Good. How is she feeling now? Is she awake? Yes, she is awake. Would you like to go see her? I have not still recovered from the fact that none of us has the same blood with our daughter. Come on, I told you already that their machine is faulty. You know, it's not possible for that machine to be faulty. So what are you trying to say? That Gloria is not yours. I didn't say that, but that is what the doctor is trying to say. What is wrong with you, Cletus? Why are we even arguing about this? Because I need an answer as to why my daughter's blood did not match with mine. Enough of this nonsense. If you have any questions, then the best person to ask is the doctor. Did I impregnate the doctor? Did the doctor give birth to her? I don't want to imagine what you are thinking right now. All I want is an answer why her blood did not match with mine. I don't know for God's sake. Get that silly thought out of your head. Calm down. I'm not accusing you of anything. Yes, you are. I am sorry if you feel that way. It's okay. Their machine is faulty. Yes, I think so too. I mean, I raised Gloria myself. She exhibits some of my characters. Exactly. I want to step out for a while. I'll be back. Okay, honey. Make sure to visit our daughter. Bio, thank you for coming to see me. Come on, Gloria. You know you don't have to thank me. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there to rush me here. It's okay. You know you don't have to overthink too much. I missed you. I miss you too. How are you feeling now? I feel very strong. The doctor said I will be discharged this evening. Wow, that's a good news. What about your parents? Mom just left not quite long, but I haven't seen my dad yet. Maybe he's busy with work. I think so too. Do you know if my fiancé came visiting? Don't tell me you are still thinking about him on your hospital bed. He's still my fiancé. He put you in this condition? No, he didn't. Actually, I had been falling weak a couple of weeks back. And you never mentioned it to anyone? I don't want you nor my parents to panic. Please don't do that next time, please. When you notice some uncomfortable changes about your body, you speak out. Yes, daddy. So did Julius come? I don't think so. I've been here with you since the day you feel sick. I only went home to change up and then come back. Maybe he's not aware of the situation. That's because he doesn't care. I don't think so. He must have called my line without a response. If he called your line without a response, why didn't he call your parents if truly he wanted to speak to you? I don't know. If he truly cares about you, he called for this now without a response from you. The least he could do is to go to your house and check on you if you're okay or not. Or probably call your parents to know if you're fine. You are right, he has an explanation to make. For now, don't worry about anything. I am here to take care of you. If there is anything you want, let me know. Thank you, Bayo. Guy Alpha. I haven't thought of coming to visit you and your family this weekend. You know, go work today. I should be asking you that. Are you not going to work today? I have given myself a day off. My daughter will be discharged this evening, so I want to spend some time with her. Discharge? Is she at the hospital? Yes, she was sick, but she's not okay. Hey, yeah, my regards to her. If I had known, I would have gone to visit her. You can come later this evening. Tony, I have a little problem. Money problem? No, not at all. The daughter required I donate some blood for my daughter. 
I did, but unfortunately, it didn't match with hers. It is very possible for you not to share the same blood with her. Then, what about my wife? If it didn't match with mine, it should match with hers. That is a serious case. How can she not have the same blood with your wife too? Exactly my point. The only way now is for you to go for a DNA test. DNA test? Man, it doesn't cause into that. That is the only way you will know the truth. I don't want to make my wife feel like I don't trust her. Then why are you complaining? If you are sure that Gloria is your daughter, then forget about what the doctor said and move on. Hmm. Or if you don't want your wife to know, you can do it secretly. How? Go and discuss it with the doctor first and he will tell you what to do. Okay, that is exactly what I will do. Oh, Natasha, I was even on my way out. Well, you can't go out now that I'm here. It is really important that I go out, please. What is going on, Bayou? Are you okay? Yes, dear, I am okay. I just have some things to sort out first. I feel like I'm losing my best friend. Come on, Natasha. We are good. I want to take you out once I'm less busy. Who has been keeping you busy? Because I know for a fact that it is not work. Well, my friend got ill recently, so I'm going there to check on her. That girl again? What is that her name, Steph? Her name is Gloria. So now she's the one taking all your time, Abby? That's because she just recovered from her illness. I know this is the only time I have to prove how much I love her. See, I don't like this at all. Her own is just too much now. Don't you want a sister-in-law? Calm down. Once she accepts my proposal, I will make sure you are her cheap bridesmaid. I thought it's something better. Babe, I have to run off. Lock my door on your way out. What about your key? Where will I keep it? Take it home. I'll come get it later. Okay, bro. Take care of your beautiful self.